I find that architects and engineers are generally underserved by lawyers, certainly in contract negotiations, and they typically only come in contact with counsel when there is a claim against them. But what happens in the many circumstances that are pre-claimed, those uncomfortable gray areas where the architect or engineer feels something brewing, feels something uh, that could blossom into a claim, you know, what, what should they do? We don't have a claim yet, and the architects and engineers may be understandably concerned about going to their insurance carrier and letting them know about the circumstance for a number of reasons. One important one is the deductible obligation. Deductibles under professional liability insurance policies can be fairly substantial. They are frequently $50,000, and I've seen some of my clients have deductibles under professional liability insurance policies as much as a quarter of a million dollars. So you can understand why an architect or an engineer in this sort of pre-claim gray area might be reluctant to report the circumstances to their professional liability insurer. But the professional liability insurer does not want a claim to be brought against the architect or engineer either, and that is where their interests align. And so there is a benefit that not a lot of architects and engineers know about in many insurance policies. Not every professional insurance policy, but in many professional liability insurance policies, there is this concept of pre-claim assistance, which is where the architect or engineer will report the circumstance to the insurer and say that we don't have a claim yet, but we could sure use a little proactive assistance from an attorney. Uh, we need somebody to begin to communicate to the potential claimant and see if they can do something to put down this brewing claim before it's actually asserted. Now, many times the communication needs to go to the architect or engineer's client. Maybe they need an education. If the trench collapsed and there was an injury during construction, maybe somebody needs to go to the property owner or their real estate developer and explain that architects and engineers are not responsible for the means and methods of construction. And this is simply not the circumstance uh, where an architect or engineer could be liable. So a timely phone call from an attorney, a timely letter from an attorney can make all the difference in terms of having a potential claim situation go away rather than turn into a claim. And that's the reason for this pre-claim assistance benefit. If it exists under a professional liability policy, the insurance company will assign an attorney to begin to provide that proactive pre-claim assistance. And importantly, in many instances, the deductible obligation is not triggered. The insurance companies do not want the architect and engineer insureds to be worried about the fact that they might incur their deductible obligation. They want to encourage uh, these design professionals to come forward and discuss these pre-claim situations so that the insurance company can assign counsel without triggering the deductible obligation so that the mutual interest of the insurance company and the design professional in seeing this potential claim never develop into a real claim can be realized.